Hi everyone, this is Bob Bickle and welcome to my art channel. This is another of the series of the big cats and scratchboard art and stuff. This is the scratchboard I'll be using. It's an ampersand scratchboard. This is the brush I use to brush off my uh, shavings. This is the mechanical drawing pencil with a two millimeter dowel pin ground to a point. This is another mechanical drawing pencil with a two millimeter diameter dowel pin ground on a wedge shape, 30 degree angle. And this is the contact paper I'll be using to rest my hand on. I uh, change quite often between uh, the point and the chisel point. The uh, red tip mechanical pencil is the point and the black tip is the chisel point which was ground on a 30 degree angle. When I need a broader line uh, the chisel point gives me uh, a lot more options as far as line width. The uh, point uh, has, it can only scratch a fine line where the chisel point can uh, scratch a broader line as to how you rotate that chisel point, you can develop a fine to a broader line. Scratchboard uh, is peculiar in that there is really no correction you can make it once you've made a mistake and hopefully the mistake is inbound inside the image area and when I make a mistake or I might want to make uh, some small corrections I use Dick Blick's Indian ink I found that to be the closest match when it's dried to this matte finish on the scratch board surface. I don't use it that often other than just making corrections. Sometimes these spots on these cats get quite prevalent in and it, it might serve you well to go back in with the Indian ink and uh, put those spots in. It's a lot quicker. But if you can take the effort to uh, scratch around those spots, I, I would recommend it doing that way. Now, if you... Uh, want to lay out the spot areas within the image area. It doesn't hurt to use a graphite pencil as long as you know you're going to be scratching that graphite off the image area.
when you got when I got to the whisker area I used the pencil in order to lay out the small areas that are going to be in black and I worked around those small areas and scratched out the graphite This uh, cat that I'll be scratching is called a caracal, spelled C-A-R-A-C-A-L. It's a uh, medium-sized cat that's uh, distributed uh, in a quite a large area. Um, India, and Central Asia, Middle East, and a large part of Africa. This cat gets to be from 18 to 40 pounds. It can jump about 12 foot up in the air. This is uh, quite an impressive cat. I just thought you'd be interested in some of those facts. Except for the uh, beginning of this video and the end, I increased the speed to four times. I'm not that quick, in case you're interested. In case you're interested, uh, this cat took me about seven hours from start to finish. Uh, 
Uh, I really enjoyed doing it. I, re I don't normally spend a, a long period of time uh, just scratching away at these cats. I'll normally work for an hour and take lengthy breaks. But this cat here, uh, I spent a lot of time on it. Not too many breaks. Uh, probably because it was easier than the cats I've done in the past. It didn't have uh, many spots on it and uh, so I'm just putting down fine lines. One thing about the uh, pointed uh, scriber is that you can get not only a fine line but a very short line. It's ideal for stippling, which is a very short, thin line. There are some uh, scratchboard artists that do whole drawings with just stippling. And the only way you could do stippling is with a pointed stylus such as this one. And you see me going over a lot of the areas that uh, would appear that I've already finished. But what I'm trying to do is develop a lighter value. When I spread my lines out further, your values become darker. And when you go back over them, you, your value becomes lighter. It's important that you develop these uh, values. Uh, your darker areas make your lighter areas pop. And your number one concern when doing scratch board or charcoal or graphite pencil drawings is value. It's to me the most important thing. So lay it down lightly to begin with and then go over it to develop your lighter areas. Be always aware of that scratch board surface outbound of the image area. It's not forgiving at all. It will pick up your fingerprints, little smudges. So you got to be extremely careful outside the image area. So use a piece of contact paper to rest your hand on.
practice and more practice and then some more practice will make you good at this.
Well, friends, we're about at the end of this video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed scratching it. If you enjoyed this, uh, please subscribe, give me a like, and touch that bell so you can see my future art videos. And until we meet again, I wish you the best of health and good luck. Bye now.